I'm a meteorologist, but I really don't know anything about meteors. And now we bring you a special weather bulletin from the Channel 119 newsroom and meteorologist Jiz Manchowder. Hey everyone, let's get you updated on the storm track. Now, I know many of you are saying, does Jiz have this thing covered? Well, I can tell you with confidence that Jiz is all over the storm, so just relax and know Jiz is on the case. Jiz will be in your face until this event is over. Remember, Jiz is always there when you need it. Let's turn to the weather map, and here's what we have so far. Okay, as we all know, this storm formed off the coast of Africa and really picked up some steam as it traveled across the ocean. The ocean supplies all that warm, moist air and allows a storm to really gain strength and form a good eye. This storm kept building steam as it traveled through the Caribbean, and we believe it actually got very high as it crossed land in Jamaica. That's where the eye got a little red. We believe it was the ganja clouds that form over that island that creates what we call the visine effect. Now, the storm seems to be reaching that point where it gets a little iffy as to which way it will go. So, let's take a look at the good old spaghetti model. Now, as you can see, the various models have this storm all over the place. The American model has it crossing Miami. The European model has it staying in the Gulf, and the Jordache Jeans model has it taking a left turn at Cuba and heading to Cancun for a little spring break action. And of course, that wild ass air string model has the storm turning into a cabaret show and performing in Bimini for the weekend. Now, we don't rely solely on the spaghetti model. We also refer to the Stromboli model, which really isn't showing us anything right now other than the Marinara Islands may be in the direct path of the storm. And the Ravioli model can't decide if this storm will be gathering strength as it turns north or if it will be heading out over the Chef Boyard D Islands. So again, folks, we rely on these models for some idea of what could happen. But we all know these models are too thin and probably snorting coke. So... Here's what we're looking at as we check out the Apollonia five-day week ahead. Now, you can see Monday, Thursday, and Tuesday, there really isn't anything much to report. Lows in the teens at night and highs in the low hundreds. Now, when we get to Friday and Wednesday, that's where everything can change, and that's what we're keeping our eyes on. We should know if this weather event is going to blow up as the storm turns north and someone tries to start the car. And that's where we stand right now. I'm a meteorologist, but I really don't know anything about meteors. But I do know about the weather. Now, folks, you can rest assured that Jizz will be here to keep you covered as often as possible as we watch this storm develop. This is Jizz Manchowder coming from the 119 Weather Center. You've been watching the Channel 119 Storm Update with Jiz Manchowder. We now return you to your normal programming.